Hey there, Vanagon Addicts. This is Ken Wilford here at Van Again, uh, coming to you from Belize again. I'm um, down here with, still working on this uh, 89 Wolfsburg edition, and we're going to be putting on some new rear mud flaps. So uh, we got some of the South African ones, um, and when they come, they don't really have instructions with them. So I'm going to kind of show you how you put it together. You get a bag of parts. You get these little arms here and you get some screws and bolts. So what I did was I put it together so the two washers are on this part of it. The longest screw is right here. The square nut is kind of hidden behind the flap so you don't see it. The arm is hidden behind the flap. And how these install is actually kind of easy. I was just sitting down here thinking about installing them later today and I saw kind of how easy they go on I'm like, you know what? Whatever. So I went ahead and put on the other side already. Um, it just snaps onto the back edge here of the rear wheel well. Okay. And then this arm goes over and pinches. Everything pinches. So this arm goes over, pinches this seam right here. I don't know if that's in focus or not, but there it is. Okay, it's pinching that seam. Um, and then you have these two other pieces. They are basically just pinchers as well. So uh, how I decided to install these is to kind of put them like this. One up here near the top, which I think I got them already tightened in too much. But you have a bunch of bolts that are the same length. Um, they're the shorter of the two lengths. There's only two longer ones that come with the set. So I went ahead and put the long ones where the arm hooks to the mud flap on the center there, and the short, all the short ones go on these pincher deals. All right, I'm tightening it instead of loosening it, so that's a problem. So you just loosen these up, then you just kind of snap them. Oh my gosh, why is it getting so dark? You snap them on the back side of here, and you're basically just pinchering this metal lip of this to this molded plastic deal right here. And everything is 10 millimeter sock wrench. So that's what I've been doing. You can see this one has the. Oh my gosh, I keep tightening it. This one has the fiberglass bumpers. It slips right under there, it's no problem. And you just put them under here. And once you get it, this particular one apparently is a little bit bent. I don't know, let me try loosening it all the way up. Yeah, once you get it loosened up really good. I would just put one up near the topish area, like say right about there, and then the other one, maybe like right about here-ish. Um, it would be easier to have them so the nuts were facing towards you instead of in, but uh, then I don't know if that would cause a problem. So that's how I'm doing it, um, and I went ahead and got the other side done already, so you can kind of see what it looks like as a completed thing without me sitting here doing it in front of you. I know some people are going to be mad about that, but whatever. So you can see I got these two rigged up. They're pinching here, here. This, you wind up tightening down once you get everything lined up. Tighten this up, pinch this. So how I did this side, I did this one first, then I got tightened this up, then I came back and tightened these two up. And it looks really good. Once you're done, if you can kind of see it, Man, it's getting dark. Why? This is like in the middle of broad daylight sun. The phone thing is getting dark. You can see that one. And that one. So, that's just a quick video in case you ever wanted to do the South African rear mud flaps or the front ones too. They should be about the same, except they're not going to have the piece that goes in and stabilizes, I don't think. But... Thanks for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe. And as always, if you can support us with your parts purchases at www.vanagon.com, we would super appreciate that. All right, Vanagon X, have a great one, and hope you get more smiles per gallon.